Hey guys, it's Lou, and I know I haven't made a video in a long time, but a lot has been happening. I've been super busy. Today, what we're going to be filming is um, what I keep in my car. So maybe if you're just beginning to drive or if you've been driving for a while, you can get some ideas on how somebody else does uh, does things with their car or keeps so like what things to keep in your car. Uh, I thought it would be a pretty cool idea. So let's head downstairs and get that started, okay? All right, so we're outside the building that I work at and you already know we had that VIP parking, right? Yes, there she is. This is Samantha. She is a Honda Accord Coupe, uh, 2017. You have no idea how much I had to go through just to uh, get a car. And it is the most amazing thing ever, being able to just get out of your home and go wherever you want, whenever you want. The freedom, it's something that we probably take for granted. I know that before when I drove, it wasn't such a big deal, but now I couldn't imagine it after seven years, probably more eight, nine years of riding the bus, but there she is now. Now, if you're wondering why I got a coupe, it's because of this, this big doors on the side. When I was looking at cars and deciding which car to get, I initially looked at a lot of sedans and because I wanted to have that big back seat. But I realized that when I was getting in, my wheelchair was a very tight or almost impossible fit to pull it inwards with me sitting there, even if I pushed the seat back, because my wheelchair is pretty big. Um, I'm a tall guy, I'm about 5'10", and I was injured later on, so I still have a lot of mass as far as my legs uh, go. And it just wasn't working out. It would have been too complicated getting the wheelchair in. And these big doors allow me to have way more room to get the wheelchair in and out of the car with ease. So that's why I ended up getting the coupe. And why the Honda Accord? It's because it's the only affordable coupe that's not a Mercedes, that's not a Lexus, that's not a Cadillac or a BMW. So I couldn't be happier. I love this car. I can't say that enough. All right, so to get into my car, all I need to do is have my keys in here. So normally I just keep my keys in my book bag. That way I don't have to like worry about them and fumble with them. And once I'm near the car, um, once I put my hand on the handle, it'll unlock and let me open it. So what I do is I'll turn around and I get near it right here, but out of the way of the door. And then I'll put my brakes on. Then I will just uh, put my hand near it. And if you hear it, it already unlocked. And then, and then I'm able to turn around and have it uh, and ready to get inside. Now, first thing that you probably see or maybe not see is this button right here. And that button has my controls for whenever, since I can't use my hands and they're always going to be on my hand controls, I use this with my elbow and I'll go through the wipers, the lights, the cruise control. The only annoying part is that if you hit it accidentally, which happens a lot when you begin to drive, you have to go through the whole list before it'll stop. So it, it can be a little annoying at first, but once you get used to it, you can easily avoid it. Now, if you can look inside, um, you'll see that I have just simple hand controls with two tri pins. Once I get inside, I'll like explain how they work a little better. Um, I also have this foldable transfer board. Um, it helps sit me on my shoulders so I don't have to do the transfer all the way to the seat. I can go to my transfer board and then go to the seat. This thing is great. I love it. Uh, if you are a quad or maybe just a paraplegic, just to save your shoulders, you should definitely get one of these. Now, as you can tell, I have my creature in here. I'll use that to show you some other things that I have. So. First things first, I always keep an extra strap down here. And it's really like it sticks to the car, but so I use this strap to like lock down my legs whenever um, I go out with my friends to a place that has uh, cobblestone or uneven ground because sometimes I'll get spasms and or just the bumps would knock my legs off the footplate. And it's just nice to be able to strap them down and not have to worry about them. 
Um, so I always keep a strap on me all times. Now the next thing I do is, if you can see in here, when I first started driving, I noticed that I was getting pressure sores from sitting in my car for too long and not being able to do my weight shifts. So I had an extra cushion and I used a J2 um, or a JX2, I believe. Um, and I just took the inside gel part out and placed it on my seat, and that was um, that helped a lot. I, I don't have to worry about doing weight chips as much with that there. And I also keep a sweater or some jacket um, that I just put over the top. This is my my grand like my grandma, my aunt always send me hand knit sweaters. I have so many at the house, so because it's plastic, it's not always the most comfortable thing to sit in uh, sit on. So I just put like a like a towel or a sweater over it. I also have a chest strap that's tied to the seat and I use that to help with balance. So that chest strap will go across my chest and help me stay upright while I'm driving so I don't uh, lose my balance. Alright so this is the view from the inside and like I mentioned earlier I have the dual tripin. Um, a lot of quads have the tripin here and then just the straight bar right here to push down and then forward so the way it works is forward is brake and then downwards is accelerate i decided to go with the tri-pin because um, i thought it was more secure um, there's no room for mistakes my hand will not slip um, from it um, even though it's it gets a little loose i tied in it earlier so it's good but that one can get a little loose um, it's just uh personal choice uh, I can drive with the straight one I drive my friends sometimes and it works just just fine in the front um, always have an iPhone charger with me I keep my gloves and my uh, reacher in the cup holders or on my lap I used to keep my wheelchair in the front I mentioned that in one of my other videos but if you can see like there's scratches right there and there's scratches right there and it would be way worse if I still did that, so that's why I now keep the wheelchair in the back. All right, so to get it into the trunk, what I normally do is I'll just use my key. It's got a button that I just press, and it pops the trunk open. And what I like to do is I like to just like get it to at this point because if I open it up all the way, it's kind of hard for me to close it. So once I get it right here. Uh, usually it stays and that's perfect for me to close it again. Now inside I have first thing you see are probably my big wheels. You see my off-roading wheels which I like to use when I go to the beach or when I go uh, maybe I haven't gone but probably camping when I go on trails I use my big wheels and I use them with my free wheel. So if you see right here like inside um, I have a free wheel which pops my little front tires a little higher so they don't get stuck in like shrubbery or grass so that I'm it's almost like a trike it turns my wheelchair into a tricycle with big wheels making it super easy for me to go through rougher terrain and that's great now to the right these boxes right here these are my uh, my shower chairs for traveling so when I go on conferences or when I go on trips like my trip to Peru uh, in December, I took these, this shower chair that has different parts because it's smaller and I can use different types of bathrooms. Sometimes not all bathrooms are accessible and this model makes it really easy to fit into awkward situations in bathrooms, which is great. And I'll put a picture about how that looks like um, and how it differentiates from the shower chair that I have in my house. Now. Uh, another thing, I keep uh, extra catheters in my trunk. So underneath the wheels, you'll see I have a box of catheters. You never know when you're gonna need extra ones of those. And I, I think that covers everything um, that's in my car. Uh, I hope my video helped. I, I saw a bunch of transfer videos and I wanted to do something a little different. I uh, hope my, my biggest reason for this video was to hopefully provide you with um, something you can do once you have your car and you're ready to become independent and you're, you're asking yourself what now like how can I maximize that independence how can I uh, go out longer be outside longer without having to maybe go back for like a bowel program or uh, worry about different terrain and your wheelchair not being able to go through that so 
I hope that that helped a little bit. I hope you have a great day and uh, bye-bye. Oh, one more thing. I also wanted to make a big thanks to my bro, Aramis. Uh, he helped me with all the filming in this video and made it look really nice. So thanks so much, man. I appreciate the help and you're the best.